I'd love for him to get his hands on Alex Apahama. Apahant, 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 Apahantis. Shabbat Shalom. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we're gonna check out 25 minutes of WWE announcing bloopers. I've been looking forward to checking this video out for a while now. You guys have been hitting me up on Twitter and Instagram uh, for me to check this particular video out. It's just there's been other stuff that you know had been coming up beforehand. So, you know, I would try to get that video out first before I get to this one, but I've made it my mission today to check this out because I've been looking forward to it. I know this is going to be great. I know this is going to be hilarious. Announcers, they mess up too. Just like the wrestlers sometimes mess up in the ring or production crew mess up on, you know, the production side of thing. things. Announcers mess up too because once again, it's a live show for the most part and they may say something wrong or pronounce someone's name incorrectly or, you know, not call a move right or whatever the case may be or even forget history of certain wrestlers and matches it it happens and it's quite entertaining when it does happen because we get to you know be like ah michael cole messed up there you know michael cole definitely has his moments where he'd be messing up uh you know uh, a, a little bit you feel me but it happens to all announcers so this should be very interesting i'm ready to get into this video appreciate all the love and support let's check this out man one two this on I don't know why I did that twice. All right. Broadcasters in wrestling have a lot of information to get across. They must also react to the environment, but it's not always possible to be on point 100% of the time. Of course. Therefore, slip ups and botches are common, from getting names wrong to waiting anxiously with anticipation. His name is Jeff Harvey. Harvey. Jeff Harvey. Stumbling over words. With Kyrie saying back your screen. Oh, geez, I can't talk. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> no, just happened. I think it just had like a personal you glitch. It's <laughs> a straight up crazy comments. Jerry Lawler has bruised ribs and he's also suffering from, from anal bleeding. What? We'll have it all today <laughs> as we highlight a whole load of commentary and announcer Mike Mishaps. Fans will remember the coach from his first run with WWE where he played an entertaining heel announcer and authority figure. <laughs> Oh my gosh! They just put Coach's head! When he returned in 2018, the company didn't want him to be the same character. They preferred him to be a serious sport analyst, just as he'd been at ESPN. This meant Coachman struggled to fit in on commentary, as he uh -huh. played third wheel to Michael Cole and Corey Graves. Coach upset the dynamic. He rarely added much, and often made silly statements which his broadcast partners ridiculed him for. We never really established that it had to be a tag team. No, it, Wait, we, it did, we did, I mean, Coach. It was a tag team. Oh, oh I know. I'd love to see, like, an athletic competition between Bobby and Apollo Crews. Athletic Competition uh, what happens in the ring every time the bell rings. Is Rhino going to WrestleMania? Rhino? No, Rhino's not Rhino's in the ring. Oh, man. My boy. <laughs> he, was, he was struggling out there. No. <laughs> Damn. Dude, look like right from the back. Very few men can knock The Undertaker oh. off his feet. Well, Cena just knocked Kane off his feet. My bad. What does the bar no. mean? That means that we don't just set the bar. We are the bar. Right, what, does, what does that mean? Oh, Coach, they've been saying it for a year, though. Well, I think this might be an advantage for Ronda Rousey, to be honest oh. with you. I, it's allowing Ronda Rousey to get a little bit of a rest. A gather, rest? Gather a rest, guys. How are you still employed, Coach? He's wearing blue <laughs> tonight. Is that... It's been Balor projecting... You never get a second chance to make a first bro, impression. Oh, poor coach, bro. <laughs> they, they were just like, what are you doing, bro? What's happening here? You good? <laughs> Mike Adamley learned this all too well after debuting in WWE. I accidentally called Jeff Hardy Jeff Harvey. Unfortunately for Adam Lee, he was never able to redeem himself after that first botch. And that's yeah. because he pretty much messed up every time he appeared on television. Already three legends, superstar, legendary superstars. And my purpose is to be here tonight to say, and I love working for the ECW. I'm not going to complain about your announcing. The line's too long. They are, please come home. <laughs> 
now to Eminem, Morrison, and Miz both working on Kane. Back of Kane's Johnny, left knee, now Johnny, working that leg, trying to work the figure four. Well, not really. He's got like a light ball on him. William Regal felt that he was disrespected, so he... William Regal felt like he was disrespected, so he... Did res the Samoan Bulldog going to SmackDown. Bulldozer, Bulldozer. Bulldozer to the extreme. Well, I'm Mike Adamley alongside the Taz. Glad you could join us. That's right, Dad. And I'll tell you, Mike. An announcer and the worst one in history at that. I guess Mick never heard of Mike Adamley. After just a few <laughs> Oh, my. Yo, he was worse than Coach his second go around. Jeez. Granted, I, I didn't really watch the, the revival, and I put that in the air quotations of ECW, the WWE ECW brand. I didn't really watch it too much. I I had the opportunity to, but just some of the stuff I had seen, I was just like, yeah, this ain't it. This was, it was, it, it was basically just fucking raw and SmackDown light. It, I, I didn't really too much care, so I wouldn't, didn't even know he was that bad on commentary like that once on commentary adam lee was then named raw general manager where he was now able to carry a script around with him in order to prevent further botches there once was a man who wasn't taken very seriously you i'm definitely not going to have it to me i'm not going to let it happen in a gauntlet match in a gauntlet match oh my god they tried to feed you lines, and I and I kind of went along with the okay. He's a bubble, bubblehead is not a dunderhead is what I was called in one of the WWE, uh, the lovable dunderhead, you know. So I I played that role for a while. Adam Lee was later diagnosed with a brain injury that was beginning to take shape around this time, hence the memory issues. In oh, reality, damn. Mike was a nice guy who maintained a good attitude despite the difficult time he had in WWE. <laughs> You're still the man. What? You are still the man. Forget so everyone. Right. Don't listen to him. You're the man. No, I listen to him. It's okay. Yeah. You know what? Because you learned something from the fans. That's right. He was put in a tough spot, but it says more about the company that they would put someone on television who knows so little about their product. This yeah. Uh, damn, I didn't even know he was dealing with that, man. Uh, hopefully, you know, he was able to, you know, get that situated. But damn, bro. I mean, that, that makes it even worse that they were putting him in these situations he wasn't ready for or wasn't comfortable with. Like, that makes no sense. You have so many other talented people out there that may maybe fit that build more comfortably, but you're going to continually keep trying to push this guy that, you know, is having issues just delivering the simplest of lines. Like, what are we doing? This is something WWE had done before and would continue yeah. to do again in the future. Let's now shine the light on a variety of blunders from different announcers over mm -hmm. the years. Here comes Rusev. <laughs> Clear the tracks. Here we go. We're going to need a bigger boat. Oh, watch out here in front of us. What kind of boat do you know that operates on tracks? Tracks. The Bullet Club is for everyone. That would be... That's what I said. I got a speech impediment tonight. There's still a United States title match coming, gentlemen. <laughs> oh my God. Seat is free. Seat is fire. I'm sorry. She started the distractions. <laughs> said seen as free with so much excitement <laughs> but that wasn't the case and if you look at the the slow pin he didn't even want to pin him but look look at this bro just listen to his excitement she's tired of the I don't know, shit, whatever you want to Whoa. do. Whoa! Truth will get a chance to get his baby back. As he takes on the 24-7 champion Riddle, I'm Reginald. Right to the canvas, covered by Nikki Jax. Who? It's over. Who? Listen to this, you ready? Where's he at? Come on. He can't get it to work. Listen to this WWE Universe. Wow. Let's go. 
You're not bilingual? There's a lot of bi things I am, but lingual is not one of them. What? Hey, wait a minute. Did I just mean to say that? I don't think you did. But no. Tonight we're live. Boy, we are joined to commentary what? by the Miz and our truth. You guys had a match. Hey, yo, truth. Just think said, oh, wait a minute. That's a definite hey, yo. By the way, this is King Kingston. Kingston. Thank you. You guys, Randy Orton, the new champion versus CM Punk. Well, the Ooh. vintage Apex Predator, Randy Orton, goes in with the experience. He ought to strap a bucket of fried chicken on his back and ride a motor scooter across Ethiopia. Impress me, Lawrence Taylor. That's what I dare you to do. King Kofi Kingston also has a nice... Yeah. Sounds about right. Nice on the initials. Look, at look, at the, look at the arm of Buff Bagwell now. Does, Wait, he, does anyone know Bagwell? Bagwell? Of, of Scott Stark? He was successful in just using his mouth to get the man off. Whoa! Wait a minute. No, wait, wait. Whoa, hold on, whoa, whoa, Wait, what did he say? Of Scott Stark? He was successful in just using his mouth to get the man off. Wait a minute. Hey, yo. <laughs> no, wait, wait. <laughs> we'll also highlight some moments from Pro Football Hall of Famer Art Donovan, whose guest appearance at the King of the Ring is considered amongst the worst announcing performances in wrestling history. Donovan had no idea who any of the wrestlers were and kept asking how much each one weighed. Who's the guy leading? That's Shawn Michaels. Is he another wrestler? Oh, how much oh, is that guy no. weighing? We'll now highlight some good commentators that had a tendency to botch every now and again. We'll start with Taz, uh, someone who has given us many funny pronunciations over the years. Back. A very controversial to the human suplex machine's choice of words were quite interesting. Even if what he said was a bit out there, it was still insightful in its own unique way. The doctor of fuck doctor of some Okay, I'll try doctor, again. You got it? Doctor of fuck anomics. <laughs> That's about to see an expo this exposition. Exhibition. That too. So this guy can fly then, right? This is a penguin. Penguins don't <laughs> fly. They got wings, right? Yeah, they have wings. As you point out, <laughs> <laughs> you have to use a bit of sight. Help me out there. See, I can't explain. You don't battle. Right to that massive skull-like head. That big type right ahead of the big show. And here. Marcus Covan. Perhaps it Corvan. Corvan. Kind of yeah. rolls off the tongue. I don't know how to say it. I said it right. Yeah. I'd love for him to get his hands on Alex Apahama. I've never heard that clip. <laughs> he kept trying. That's what makes it good. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh. This video is already fantastic, bro. They probably have some extra pay for you. Oh my god. Look, it's not even out here. All right. <laughs> We're in San Francisco. They got what well, they got the Bay Bridge here. They got the Golden uh, the Golden Gimmick Bridge. The Golden, golden Gimmick. gimmick. Bridge, right? <laughs> I, I, I think we're staring at the Golden Gimmick Bridge right now. Bending and moving easily and gracefully, flexibly. Fle Damn it, flexible. Tell the lawyer. I'm reading's not my strength. Ex Beach, I'm Jezebel. Oh, Ruby Riot! Ruby Riot! It's a very large, angry vampire mounting you and pounding you. Not good. She don't want to be ridden right now. You want to? You want to get rid by by Bobby Lash? You don't want Lashley on top of you. Did you say get rid? Oh, man's a chick man flanked by uh, Kayla. Kayla Kelly. I'm all tongue tied here. Kicks. Punches, whatever you want to call it, attacking the knee of Chavo Guerrero. I'm sorry, of Kane. You got me all fussing out. I'm starting to pull an Adam Lee on you. Cole countless great moments, but it hasn't been all home runs for the voice of WWE. Oh, for Many sure. fans have given Cole a hard time for his mistakes. He has a long rap sheet of different botch types. They mm -hmm. range from mixing up wrestlers' names. Cover now by Belanca. Belanca? Who is Who is that? Stock in 2008, that was indeed Candice LeRae. Darren Young starts things off against uh, Darren Young. Axel's talking to Drew Axel, who's down here on commentary with us here tonight. Would you just call him Cole? How dare you disrespect Drew Gulak? Drew Gulak. I invited Mr. <laughs> An elbow right to the chest of Ambrose. So it's Kobe Kingston non-title battle against Zach Ziggler, the uh, Long Island Ice. Who the fuck is Zach? Bro. <laughs> 
And the thing about Michael Cole is he says them with so much confidence until someone else says, who? <laughs> In this Belair and Sasha Banks. Who? No, no, is... no. Bianca Belair and Zelina Vega. Elias now has dinner where he wants oh. him into the drift away. Did you just call him dinner? That's gender. Edge won the 2010 <laughs> Royal Rumble. He chose his former tag team partner, <laughs> his former friend Edge. Everybody Car, the only one left in the ring. It's That's Car. Callisto. That is Callisto. Get them right. Sid Car is down here on the floor. Passed out. He was eliminated. <laughs> Kofi Rhodes knocked off the top rope by you, Jericho. You say Kofi Rhodes? Yeah, somebody's <laughs> Jamaican you crazy, huh, Michael Cole? Calling moves wrong. <laughs> Later on. Oh my oh, god! Blue Thunder Pop! That was a Actually. Michinoku driver. Cole, I'm gonna save you from the internet tonight. Thank you very much. Let's <laughs> be gone. No. Scoop slam. Nice power slam by Randall. Legendary <laughs> Undertaker. No. Oh, it's Batista! What strength! What a power bomb! Oh. Champion! Who's the Still has the triangle trope locked into the, the, locked into the hide right here. The Undertaker does it. And if you yeah. can wear the hide yeah. right out. Triangle choke, not and triangle choke, you... oh. whatever you said. Yeah. You can allow me to call him. Butchering words. Enterless. Enterless oh. again. Antlerless. Antlerless again. Is this your first week of the job? You know what, ma what match has interest to me tonight? That is the tonight when I take on Jared Lawler and the kiss my foot match. Jared. I received a new manager from the... Another email from the general manager. Making sus statements. I had uh, 500 pounds of men on top of me. Big dog eats. I mean, come on already. He's already damaged the knee. Big dog eats my ass. Rey hey, yo. Off anybody. A matchup that is presented by Jolly Rancher. Keep on sucking. <laughs> and just general screw ups. Murphy taps out. Cesaro with the win. Uh, I think Murphy's still in. Uh, 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 in the you future. We see it coming. Yeah, but <laughs> Champion. Tell us about a flag match. I mean, the, the rules are simpler. You got to climb the pole, grab a flag, and you win, right? Yeah, you just told him the rules, bro. <laughs> it is scary how strong the bull really is. Why, why is it scary? I don't know. Oh, you get thought scared. thought it sounded good. No what? Up banks, and a kick out. A kick out by Sasha. No. Here, bro, she didn't kick out. <laughs> Didn't kick out. <laughs> Her winner, she will end. This isn't your traditional steel cage. You can get a finger caught in there. What? Caught in there. Now, JD McDonough, who's still trying to get himself into the judgment game, they're gonna attack Cody Rhodes as well. After 13 years, what? Red Hart spits. Oh no. Oh no. Trying to get himself into the judgment game. Dagan judgment game. Cody Rhodes as well. <laughs> In the face what? of Montreal. What? No. What? <laughs> One of Michael's biggest blunders occurred at WrestleMania 15. Cole spoiled the result of the main event by saying that the new WWF champion would appear on the Home Shopping Network after the event. Post game comments. We'll hear from the new WWF champion. Yeah. You'll have a chance to buy some exclusive merchandise. Oh, we can all agree man. Jim Ross is the greatest commentator of all time. Yeah. When you've been in the game as long as JR, you're bound to have a few slip ups. And you won't miss a thing, and we'll be right back. And folks, when we say you won't miss a thing, by God, we, we mean, mean it. Because they ain't fucking moving. <laughs> <laughs> Occasion where a couple of inches did all the good in the world. Oh, oh whoa! Oh, oh no! Oh, how do you like that doggy style? And Mark Henry is handling the big Johnson. The Rock. <laughs> oh, just, the Rock just jerked Hillsley off. <laughs> what is here? Jerking the edge off. <laughs> Jim's botches were mainly in the moment errors where he called wrestlers the wrong name. Uh huh. Kane, maybe. Oh, Kane's out. My God, he's set up just like the brother taker. The brother taker. Molina, and now that Phoenix, who has obviously great strength and agility. <laughs> Big show. And so we've got an undefeated.
undefeated team in Primo and Epico advancing in the tournament. Daniel Brown offense. <laughs> And by God, I meant to say Brian Daniels. I know what you meant to say. <laughs> He's going to bite the big show Saturday night. And it will be, excuse me, Sunday night. Got to start fast. Because yeah, I'm going to allow Wardrow. Uh, Wardrow, my God. And the team led by that man, Michael Jacob Freeman, MJF. <laughs> Michael Jacob Freeman. <laughs> WWE champion, Kenny Omega. There's no in your life. Wait. WWE champion, Kenny Omega. Not <laughs> The WWE champion. <laughs> AEW. <laughs> There's nothing in your life that will top seeing a live WWE dynamite. Booker T was a breath of fresh air. Oh, anytime yeah. He made so many outlandish yes. statements, we just had to include him on the list. Yes. His announcing had some oh. botches, but mostly crazy comments. We'll highlight a mix of both for this entry. Yes. The beast. Brock Lesnar, uh, excuse me. The Brock Brock. defends against Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman. Hey, Shinsuke, this is Booker T. Uh, uh, I'm Shinsuke. Sorry, I'm, the, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. You're going to make Booker, me walk Come up. on, man. Happy birthday to you. Happy work birthday, WWE <laughs> Network. No, what? No, no. Sidewalk slam. That, I don't think that was a sidewalk slam. It looked like a sidewalk slam to me. To the Adam's apple. What do you call that right there? The, the medulla this has got a little black mark on it. This is the scene Cara right here that's in my face. Oh, you said the one with the black mark was the imposter scene Cara. Did I say that? Yeah, you did last week. Maybe they switched moves. <laughs> what I'm talking about right there. Brian can go downstairs. He can put you on your back in a minute without you even knowing it. What? Book's commentary often had the other announcers confused, wondering what on earth the five-time <laughs> WCW champion had just said, to the point where they likely repeated one of his famous catchphrases in their head. It's called favoritism. We're talking about the Balor Club. We're talking about Gallows, Anderson, and Balor. Guys. That's not what I'm talking well, about. Obviously. <laughs> there to help him. He's like on Gilligan's Island. He's stranded right now. There were like a bunch of people on Gilligan's Island, Book. <laughs> and what's your point? Wait a minute. Are you telling me they're off on points, right? They're off. <laughs> Booker, what are you talking about? Points. Take Booker, you wish you had legs like that. Sometimes I do. <laughs> what? Right on the knee bone. Connected to the ankle bone. Dinkara, wow. And Daniel Bryan. Hip bones connected to the leg bone. What? I just cannot get over it. Oh, and Gable, though. He's game. Yeah, he completes a... <laughs> Look at he's so great, bro. So you're a follower. Let me tell you, I had nothing to do with it. I'm totally neutral. I had to go to the bathroom. I thought the show was over with. I had nothing to do with that. Unlike with commentators, <laughs> ring announcers aren't able to correct themselves after they've made a mistake. Yeah. This can make their errors more noticeable. These include missed cues. Accompanied to the ring by Ridge Holland and Sheamus. Wing in at <laughs> <laughs> They were <right> there. <laughs> <laughs> I like how this thing hit the. What? That's not. The <laughs> following is the uh, match two out of three falls, and it is for the WWE. He's a graduate of the Harvard, Harvard, Harvard Law School, weighing in at 229 pounds, David Otunga. The first superstar to call. To get a pinfall or submission. <laughs> well, I was going to say, I didn't know Chimmel was back. <laughs> oh no, bro. Wait. <laughs> the first superstar to call to, to get a pinfall or submission. <laughs> well, I was going to say, I didn't know Chimmel was oh, back. Oh, this is great, bro. The best in the 
and announcing the wrong what? name over now. The Hitman Clark. Clark. <laughs> to face the reigning United States heavyweight champion, Brett Hitman Clark. Who? <laughs> House of Black, buddy. Grammy? Boo. Definitely not Grammy. I mean, she definitely meant to say Slammy, but okay. <laughs> so, Jacksonville, Florida, Alicia Big opportunity for What? Oh, God! Here's your winner, Sarah Logan! No, it's not Sarah Logan. Representing the Judgment Day! No! There's no cue cards in wrestling, so ring announcers have to memorize all their information. Yeah. While also being razor sharp when explaining rules or making announcements. Uh -huh. The likes of Lillian Garcia and Tony Chimmel have often been the butt of many jokes by the announce team. So whenever they screwed up, the commentators were usually right there to address their botches and make fun of them. Mm -hmm. Eva Marie, where is Lillian Garcia? Chimmel doesn't speak <laughs> English anymore. Let me check, let me first. Chimmel, you stink! You are horrible! You can't even get to a ring! For the World Wrestling Federation Women's Championship. Women. It's women's. A World Wrestling Federation <laughs> a Women's Championship, and it is the uh, Gravy Bowl Invitational. What? <laughs> women's. The, uh, the, uh, the following is the uh, Gravy Bowl. <laughs> WWE Champion Trish Stratus. Wait, 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 why is Trish the winner? Why is Trish the winner? Jack Swagger! Ooh! And Lillian is actually Zack Ryder, but nonetheless. She is the WWE Women's Diva Champion. Look, even Lillian Garcia is a, is a little intimidated by the presence of the Amazon. Boise, Idaho. Too much time to learn. Candace Michelle. Oh. Is not from boys. <laughs> <laughs> a triple threat match for the number one contenders divas championship. Wait a minute, before we get going here, did, did Lillian just say triple threat? I believe she did. It's one on one. It's one on one. We certainly have a lot of info to tell us. <laughs> Interviewers, on the other hand, will typically have a few short scripted questions to ask the wrestlers, but that doesn't mean things can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. Is this your first WWF, WWF, WWF event? <laughs> I'm so excited I can't even talk. I guess Todd's the man. I, Todd, I have the new oh, intercontinental champion, baby. Razor Ramon. Right. Double J, I mean, Double J, Jeff, Jeff Jerry, he's right here. Whoa. DP, I like that. Yeah, yeah. that means Yeah, of course. Oh, I like it. It's a nice ring to it. DP. She get confused sometimes. Though. No, 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 that's not me. You knew that was Whoa. what came with the territory, though, of being the 24 7, 9 11, 7 46. But it's my baby, though. And action is coming uh, 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 tonight. Here, what? on the kickoff show, there's going to be all kinds of stuff. Why don't you wear shoes when you do these? <laughs> I don't have an answer for that. <laughs> We'll give a special what? mention to Dasha, who later became a talented ring announcer in AEW. However, in WWE, she is remembered for speaking in a bland tone with robotic delivery. Sin City uh. Smackdown is definitely living up to its name. Now, please welcome my guest, Rusev. And then last week, after you accepted McIntyre's oh, match for a one-on-one -on -one match no. at WrestleMania, Marisa slapped to, to, to Renee. Oh, no. I'm, gl I'm glad she's uh, most likely probably improved, but damn, she did sound hella robotic and kind of lifeless with no excitement to what she was asking or saying. Young, are you in the right mindset for your intercontinental championship match Mindset. Against... this is because the company what? wanted dasha to tone down her personality so as to oh. not take away from the wrestlers she was interviewing they don't want us to uh, skew any opinions or create or form any biases about what's going on mean gene oakland mm. is considered the greatest interviewer in the history of the business mm -hmm. he also has one of the funniest blooper reels of any wrestling personality World wrestling federation magazine frank take this home and have fun Let's go some action. Oakland's outtakes are legendary, mm -hmm. and they remind us of just how entertaining he was. World, put that cigarette out. 
Whether it was due <laughs> to botches or due to gene breaking character, it was hilarious to see the interviews <laughs> go off the rails. May, may I say, did you send Booker T to go after Virgil or Vincent? Brett Hutt, Scott Hall, what are you doing here? Give my cable. <laughs> Give my cable. Redheaded, <laughs> redheaded stepson. I'm sick and tired of that type of treatment. Heenan, Weasel, whatever you guys want to do, <laughs> just bring it on. All the people are going to hear the national <laughs> anthem. <laughs> and they're going to be standing loud. And they're going to be standing proud and tall. And they're going to hear. That little tin cup jingling it around with change in it. Because when you step in the ring with the Hercules and the King, you use a ball to play cricket. Is that correct? <laughs> that is correct. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ride Conan hard, woo, and put him up wet, and then I want you to show the world. Aretha Franklin, I thank you. Shut up. I'm lay down on my back and let someone cover me. I thank you very much. <laughs> I couldn't find a woman. I found a lot of men that look like women. Now you Hulk Hogan, oh, what's wrong with you? He reminds me look like Hulk Hogan. Look at his son, look at him. Now that redneck stay down. Ah, tough. I don't want to trust that idiot. Now if you enjoyed this video, oh be sure to watch God. our similar video where we rank the top 10 greatest ring announcers. Have a great day. Oh my God. Time. This video is great, bro. <laughs> This is fantastic. This is fantastic, man. I'm going to go ahead. I got to give this a like, bro. Got to give this a like. This deserves all the likes in the world. I'm going to link the original video down below. Y'all y'all go give this a like, bro. Y'all go give this a like, man. This was, this was just great. This was great, man. This is what wrestling sometimes is about. You know, the mess ups, the botches. It, 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 that's what makes it live. That's what makes it unique and special. Because it's not perfect. It's not supposed to be perfect. There's going to be mistakes that happen in the ring and on commentary. But <laughs> being able to go back down memory lane and just watch these clips. Oh, my God. This was fantastic. Comment down below. Let me know your favorite uh, announcing blooper from this particular video. The Taz one, that shit. <laughs> that shit was fucking crazy. <laughs> but I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 150K, and I'm still young. Speed the YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking here with me. See y'all next one. Peace.